You can't talk about football and food without talking about wings and dip. And we found some new twists on those tailgating staples that are sure to have you begging for seconds. Oh, please, can I have seconds? <laughs> That's coming up next on, on Pigskin Pig Gourmet. Gourmet. Wings just might be the perfect food to watch a game with. I mean, they can be the appetizer, they can be the main course, yeah. they can be a side, they can be dessert, they can just, dessert? Yeah, I guess they could be dessert sometimes. But we didn't want to make the standard fare that you order from your local Wings R Us franchise. So we decided to give the wings and a dip an upgrade. We wanted to make some strawberry jalapeno chicken wings and a buffalo chicken dip with mozzarella and blue cheese. Now, you can't have wings without celery, so we also add some stuffed celery with Philadelphia birds, cream cheese, and crumbled blue cheese. You know, saying all this stuff is just making me hungry. Can we just get started? Let's, let's just go get started. Sounds good to me. This will probably be the easiest thing we make on Pigs and Gourmet. It's just stuffed celery. We need eight ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese, four ounces of crumpled blue cheese, and your celery sticks. And what you want to do is, you take your blue cheese and you mix it with your Philadelphia cream cheese. You want the cheese to be at room temperature, so it mixes well. Then we got it good and mixed and incorporated, you just want to take your celery stick, grab a knife, just spread it down the middle. I'm going to finish working on these and put them in the refrigerator because we have some other stuff to put. Alright, we just saw Cecil finish up his celery. He put it in the fridge so that's chilling right now. Before us, we got the ingredients for David Gerrard's or Gerrard's. He's a quarterback for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Who cares, right? Anyway, he came up with his buffalo chicken dip. Uh, first has us start with the Philadelphia cream cheese. That's Philadelphia. One eight ounce package we'll need. Two cups of cooked chicken. Then we have a half a cup of the buffalo wing sauce, two tablespoons of melted butter, half a cup of the blue cheese dressing, and a half a cup of the shredded mozzarella cheese. And now we're going to start with the Philadelphia cream cheese. This is where I get to show off my muscles. <laughs> there we go. We're going to spread it around in the bottom of the dish. Got to make sure we hit every corner. And I I think I mentioned if I didn't, I'm sorry. You gotta make sure this is at room temperature because then it makes the spreading real easy. Once you're done spreading around your Philadelphia cream cheese, you gotta take your chicken, the wing sauce, and the melted butter. Now we gotta mix this together. All right, that's all mixed up real good. We're gonna put this in on top of the Philly cream cheese. Spread that along the top. So we got our blue cheese. Gonna put that along the top. And last, sprinkle on our mozzarella cheese. All right, David Garage. Buffalo chicken dip, we gotta put it in the oven right now for about 20 minutes at 300 degrees. It's wing time now. Now we're gonna make the glaze for the strawberry jalapeno chicken wing. We got two cups of strawberry preserve, one cup of pickled jalapenos, and one fly. So we gotta put it in a small saucepan. Go ahead. You wanna take the juice? of the line. Let me just squeeze. Yeah, squeeze. I think you got a little more juice in there. <laughs> and now, you want to take this, a little star mix, <laughs> and you want to put it on the uh, stove for about five minutes over low heat. And then we're gonna go put the rub on the chicken right now. Now we got the chicken. This is about 30 pieces of chicken. And what you wanna do is 
take your favorite barbecue rub and sprinkle it liberally over the chicken. We've got our butt rub. You want to get it on there liberally. You can keep going. Now what you want to do after you get it on and it's nice and seasoned, you want to take it, put it on the grill over direct heat for about 30 minutes. You gotta keep an eye on it. You gotta flip them over until the juice runs clear. That's pretty much when they're done. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. Now, the strawberry preserves and the jalapeno have been sitting on the stove for about five minutes simmering. Now you want to take about an ounce or a shot of whiskey, your favorite whiskey, anything you want. Jack Daniels. Just help them. And then you want to take another ounce of whiskey. Is this mine? Yes. And these are for the cookies. Yes. <laughs> I've got more mine. Yeah. Woo! All right, the wings are done. Looking good, smelling good. Now we gotta take our glaze and we're gonna mix it all on top of the wings here. Okay, now we're gonna mix it in. All right, we got all of our wings mixed up real good. By the way, the glaze if by chance it was getting a little chilly, make sure you warm it up before you mix it in on top of the wings. But these are good. We're all set. Time to get everything else and put it all together. All right, week three is done. You got your stuffed celery, your David Garrard, buffalo chicken dip, and you got your strawberry jalapeno chicken wings. Oh yeah. Pigskingourmet.com. Join us next week. I'm sorry, I just want to eat. Okay, let's oh. go. PigSkinGourmet.com. See you.